Hey guys, it's Deb Joyce Meek here from Delight of My Art, and today we are going to play with the new Stampin' Blends markers from Stampin' Up. These are alcohol based markers, artist quality, and they match our colors. So I just wanted to show you um, how I colored this rose from Rose Wonder. This stamp set right here. It's coral and yellow, my favorite rose color, so I can show you how these markers blend and uh, let's get coloring. Okay, so you've probably seen some other demonstrators demonstrate some of these um, techniques and everything with these markers so far. Um, when I first saw that they were releasing these I immediately thought of coloring the rose like this because it's my favorite rose color. Here are Here's a pamphlet about the Stampin' Blends Right now, they are coming out the 1st of November, so they're not quite available to purchase yet, but about in a week, um, so you don't have to wait too long. Here are the colors that are available. So I only purchased a few, so I could play around with them and see how they color. I've never worked with alcohol markers before, and I do love to color, so I'm having a lot of fun with these. I just sat here and I think I colored for like two hours just now. So um, they do have this new kit that you can get, this a stamp set called Color Me Happy. It's got a nice big thank you, some birds and flower, and some uh, Japanese lanterns. And um, there's a kit that goes with it and it will show you how to put all that together and which colors you would need to get for the kit and then here are the colors. So I purchased the um, Old Olive Daffodil Delight and the Calypso Coral and I also got the Ivory Bronze and the Color Lifter. So that's these three right here. Um, these can do multiple skin tones with these two and then you can always erase kind of with the Color Lifter to add highlights or other such things on to your projects. Um, so I, I knew I wanted to do this and these were the colors that I needed for that. So I knew I could also do other colored flowers, daffodils and other things and also coloring animals or uh, baskets and fence posts and all sorts of other things with these other markers. Here are a few other projects that I did um, using these markers even though I'm limited in colors. This is the dark Calypso Coral so you can even do Christmassy type projects with just this color set. So here's a little Bella and Friends. You can see I colored a little bit of the ivory on the bottom of the dog, but it is still a white dog, so it just adds some shadow to that. Um, we've got the um, the art one. Let's see, what's that one called? No, I don't remember. Anyway, so this one. <laughs> This fun artist one, I can't find where, where I put it. And then we've got our cute little Eskimo. You can make orange here, so you can kind of see that there's an orange blend here. And here is my garden girl. See her carrots are orange and I created those using the lightest two of the Daffodil Delight and the Calypso Coral. So you can create a whole bunch of different coloring blends even with just these markers here so I don't know if you can see all those I thought those turned out pretty cute anyway so I'm going to color another one of these so you can see how that goes and you got to make sure that you are using the memento black ink and not the archival the archival is really good for um, uh, embossing or using watercolor because it is water um, solid or <laughs> safe. It won't like um, smear in water, but this one will, but this one will be fine using alcohol markers and it dries really fast. So I've got one that's already stamped um, out and you got to make sure that you use scratch paper underneath because it will bleed through. So if you can see that. Just make sure that you use scrap paper underneath. I just have a piece of computer paper here and we'll just go ahead and get started. I'll just clear all my projects out, out of the way here. Get my markers to the side here. And we'll put our project right here. 
Okay. So first of all, I'm going to start with the light yellow. This is the Daffodil Delight. They're labeled on here, but you can tell if it's next to its match. And then there's a thick side and a thin side. So you can see by the thick bar and the thin bar which side is which. I'm going to go ahead and use the thick one because this is very big um, surface area. I'm going to color uh, the entire thing. The leaves, the flower, and the, everything. So I'll just go ahead and quickly go through that. Now we're going to take, uh, we'll do the leaves first. I'm going to use my light olive, old olive. And again, use the thick side since this is such a big image. I'm going to turn this so I can get this better. I'm going to go and leave kind of like a shiny spot in the center of the leaf. So I'm going to color everything except the center here. Okay, now these are blending really nicely. The, the trick is you're layering color on top of color. I think once the alcohol um, dries, then you can layer even more of the same color on top of that color. What I'm gonna do first is go ahead and go in with the darker old olive, and then I'm gonna blend it really good with the light one again. So just around the edges. Um, go ahead and get it a little jaggedy because they're leaves, they're not perfect. And so that's nice because then you don't have to be perfect. Okay, now we're going to go back in with the light old olive and blend the lines in between. I'm not going to go into the center part at all because I want that to stay light. But I'm going to really focus on the line in between the dark and the light old olive. I'm going to go over this again with the light 
Daffodil Delight. I'm going to blend in the centers again. I don't think I did that on this one, so this one is a little bit lighter in the center. You can see this one's blending a little bit more than this one over here. It's looking really good. I don't know if you can see that. These are so much fun. <laughs> okay, so let's start on the flower. I'm going to go ahead and start actually with the darker uh, Daffodil Delight. Actually, let's work backwards. I think I did the yellow to the coral on this one. We're going to go backwards and see if there's a difference. Again, using the big one, I'm going to go around the edges of the petals and then kind of make lines towards the center of the flower. Flowers and roses have um, sometimes lines, especially when they're double, dual colored roses like this. So I wanted those lines to kind of look like they're coming out from the center. So we're going to go ahead and do the edges, but not just a hard line around the edges, kind of make little lines into the center. So yes, outline the edges, but then continue those kind of like that a little bit. So think about which petals where this petal is kind of coming off from this side, so we want the lines to go in this way. I'm just using the thick side and this petal up here, probably coming off from this way. I'm going to leave the center yellow so it kind of looks like it's glowing. So let's go with the light Calypso Coral and blend our lines. Again, making jaggedy movements towards the center. Try to leave some yellow, um, especially on the bigger petals. We're going to come back and go over this line that we're making across the edge here again. Um, we might do the yellow first. It's 
some of these can be completely coral. Especially these smaller ones. Like this one. Let's get our dark daffodil delight. We're just going to go over the edge of the light calypso crawl, but I do want to leave untouched some of the light daffodil delight near the center of these petals, center of the flower. go pretty far up into this towards the edges with the dark daffodil delight just making our coral a little bit more orange which is fine that is beautiful Let's go back and blend a lot with the light Calypso Coral. Let's go ahead and do the light daffodil delight again. It's still staying yellow, so it's not picking up any of the other colors that we're coloring on top of. That's nice. See, now you've got these hints of the lines, but they're blending a little bit more. They were very prominent when we started, and now they're starting to disappear. I'm going to pick up the light Calypso Coral again. I think I'm going to add another line of the darker Calypso Coral around the edges. Just a little bit. Just kind of feather the edges. I'm blending this one a lot more than I did this one. I 
did this right when I picked up or uh, opened up my box on Thursday, and now it's Monday, so I've had a little bit of time to play with it. Still using the big tip. I could use the small tip, but that's alright. And I'm just using regular Whisper White cardstock. I'm just kind of barely touching the paper. Some of it is just missing. I've got these blank spaces in between, kind of still lightly scribbling, and if it doesn't quite get to the paper, that's okay. That's the fun part about plants. They're not perfect, so you can afford to have little marks randomly on there. This is so much fun. I love coloring. It's relaxing. And the result is stunning. Like You don't have to be an artist in order to get really good results with these. Which is really cool. They're really easy to work with. So now I'm just going to scribble over what I just did <laughs> to blend it. Okay, and there we have a beautiful Stampin' Blends rose. Here is the other one, colored a little bit differently. I started with the yellows and then went to the darker colors, and then went back in again to blend. But this one that we just did is blended a little bit more. Um, they both look gorgeous, of course. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you are able to pick up some of these Stampin' Blends. The really nice thing is, if you pick up the entire pack, or if you purchase one marker, the, all of them will be the same price. So each marker is $4.50. So if you are finding that you're using a lot of one color, like I am, um, you can replace that very easily for the same price as you would in the bulk. Price. So basically you're getting single markers for the bulk price. Um, it's all going to be the same, which is really nice. So I, I'm really excited to share these with you, and I hope that you think about maybe putting some in your stocking for Christmas. Have a great day, guys. Bye.